And now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his brethren, Sons, why do you yeah, look on, on one upon another? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither and buy us for us from thence that we may live, not die. And Joseph's ten brethren went down to buy corn in Egypt. But Benjamin, Joseph's brother, Jacob sent not with his brethren, for he said, Lest preventure mischief befall him. And the sons of Israel came to buy corn among those that came. For the famine was in the land of Canaan. And Joseph was the governor over the land, and he it was that sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph, his brethren, came and bowed down themselves before him with their faces to the earth. And Jesus, Jesus, Joseph saw their brethren, and he knew them, but made himself strange unto them, and spake roughly unto them. And he said unto him, them, Whence come ye? And they said, From the land Canaan to buy food. And Joseph knew his brethren, but they knew not him and Jesus remembered the dreams which he dreamed of them and said unto them ye are spies to see the nakedness of the land ye are come and they said unto him nay my lord but to buy food are thy servants come we are all one man's sons and we are true men thy servants are no spies and he said unto them nay but to see the nakedness of the land ye are come and they said they said thy servants are twelve brethren the sons of one man in the land of canaan and behold the youngest in this day with our father and one is not and joseph said unto them that is that i speak unto you saying ye are sp spies uh, her, her, herbie, ye shall be proved by the life of Pharaoh, ye shall not go forth hence except your youngest brother come his, his her here. Uh, send one of you and let him fetch your brother, and ye shall be kept in prison that your words may be pro proved whether there be any truth in you or else be in life. Of Pharaoh, surely ye are spies. And he put them all together and wore three days. And, Jesus, and Joseph said unto them the third day, This do and live, for I fear God. If ye be true men, let one of your brethren be bound in the house of your prison. Go ye, carry corn for the famine of your house. Bring your youngest brother unto me, so shall your words be verified. And ye shall not die and they did so and they sent one said one to another we are very guilty concerning our brother and that we saw the agony of his soul when he besought us and we would not hear therefore and this this just come upon us and Reboon answered him, saying, Speak I not unto, unto you, saying, Do not sin against the child, and they would not hear. Therefore, behold, also his blood is required. And they knew not that Joseph understood them, for he spake unto them by an interpreter. And he said, uh, and he turned himself about from the men and wept, and returned to the, them again, and, commu and com com communed with them, and took from them Simon and bound him before their eyes. Then Joseph commanded to fill their sacks with corn and to restore every man's money in, into his sacks and sacks and, and to give them provision for the way. And thus did unto they, thus did he unto them. And they laid la, la, laid did their asses with the corn and departed thence. And as one of them opened his sacks to give his ass provenders, in the end he spied his money, for behold, it was in the sack's mouth. And he said unto his brethren, My money is restored, and lo, it is even in my sack. And their heart failed them, and they were afraid, saying one to another, What is this that God has done unto us? And they came unto Jacob their father, and the land of Canaan, 
and told him all that befell unto them, saying, The man who is the lord of the land speak roughly to us and take us for spies of the country. And we say unto him, We are true men, we are no spies. But the twelve brethren, sons of our sons, one is not, uh, and the youngest is this day with our father in the land of Canaan. And the man of the lord of the country said unto us, Herby, sh- Herby shall I know that ye are true men, leave one of your brethren here uh, here with me, and take food for the famine I of your household, and be God, and bring your youngest breath- brother unto me, then shall I know that ye are ye no spy, are no spies, but that ye are true men. <coughs> So will I deliver you, your brother, and ye shall traffic in the land. And it came to pass, as they emptied their sacks, that, behold, every man's bundle of money was in his sack. And when both they, they and their father saw that the bundles of money, they were afraid. And Jacob, their father, said unto them, Me ha- have ye revered of my children. Joseph is not, and Simon is not, and ye will take Benjamin away. All these things are against me. And Reboon sp- uh, spake unto his father, saying, Slay me to s- my two sons, if I bring him not to thee. Deliver him into my hands, and I will bring him to thee again. And he said, My son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead, and he is left alone. Is mischief befall him be by the way in which ye go, then shall ye bring down my grey hair with sorrow to the grave.